Hello everyone and today I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu, the popular Linux operating system, within uh, VirtualBox using Windows. Now like I said, um, Ubuntu is a version of Linux that's extremely popular as it can be used by almost anyone, as it's you know, a very user friendly experience, but also has all of the uh, common Linux features, so uh, you can use it for anything that you'd use any other operating system for. So, let's get started. What you're going to need is VirtualBox, the software that's used for uh, emulating another operating system within your current one, and also you're going to need the Ubuntu disk image that we'll use uh, for the installation. So to get both of these, just open up your web browser and open up both of these links. Uh, they'll both be in the description if you just want to head over to them. So VirtualBox is just here, you can head over to the download section and just grab this, it will only take a few minutes to download and it's uh, a brilliant piece of software so even if you use it just for this I'll highly recommend it but uh, if you want to use it for anything else you can check out a few of my other videos but uh, anyway here's Ubuntu uh, they've got quite a nice web page but uh, you can read all of this if you want but let's just head over to the download tab and you can download Ubuntu desktop here which is what we'll want and just choose either 32-bit or 64-bit for either of their operating systems, either the version 12.04 or 13.04. In this video I'll be using 13.04 as it's the latest version, but if you're going to be using this as uh, one of your permanent operating systems, I'd recommend getting version 12 as this has long-term support, as stated here. But anyway, once you've chosen uh, whether you want 32-bit or 64-bit and downloaded it, Let's uh, head over to VirtualBox and install it. Okay, so now let's just open up VirtualBox and press New to uh, to set up a new operating system. So I'm just going to call this uh, Linux Ubuntu and press Next. And now this is where we allocate memory. Now this is going to be a different amount for uh, every one of you, depending on how much RAM you have on your computer but just keep it within the green zone here and then you'll know that you'll have enough so your system is stable but you should have enough to give to Ubuntu. We're going to create a virtual hard drive and just press next here and for this I'm going to say dynamically allocated and this means that it will only use up as much space as it needs and just for this uh, I'm probably not going to install much on this so I'm just going to set it as 10 gigabytes and now I'll press create so as you can see we now have Linux Ubuntu set up down here but before we can start it we're going to have to change a few settings so just press the uh, settings button up here and now once this loads down here we should be able to change all of these settings so it's correctly configured so we'll just go ahead and press system this is the first tab that we may have to change uh, all of these settings look fine but if we just head over to processor I'm going to give it as many CPUs as I can and then I'm going to head over to acceleration and just leave these as they are. Under display you want to give it as much uh, video memory as possible and I always think it's a good idea to enable 3D acceleration. Now this is in storage where we're going to select the ISO file that we'll be using. So if we just press here, press this little CD button and then press choose a virtual CD DVD disk file. So I'm just going to navigate over to where I've saved it on this hard drive and just select this here. Ok so now we can just go ahead and press OK now that all of this is set up and now we can press start up here. Ok so now it looks like that this is starting OK. Uh, but it's not full screen which is something that we might want so let's just press the right control button which is just to the left of the left arrow key and then the F key and that will make it full screen. Now this may take a little while to get going so I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video and then I'll resume once we're ready. Ok so it's just been around two minutes and now we've got this installation screen. <coughs> so all we have to do is select our language and then press install Ubuntu. Uh, I'm just going to say continue instead of updating because this can take a little while but I'm just going to press continue 
it's going to be much quicker for this video but you know please feel free to download updates if you want I'm going to press erase disk and install Ubuntu nothing's on there anyway it's just a virtual disk this won't affect your Windows computer in any way so just press install now okay so now we've got a few more options so this one's for our time zone so I'm just going to press continue and uh, this is where you'll select your keyboard layout so this is all set up for me already so I once again just press continue and now we're just going to set up a username and password so I'm just going to set this up here and I'm just going to press login automatically and I'm just going to set a quick password as well which is required and I believe that these can be changed later as well so uh, if you do mess something up don't worry but uh, yeah I'm just going to pause this now for the sake of time and uh, I'll come back when this is done okay so now the installation has just finished so we just need to go ahead and press restart now now hopefully once we've done this the installation will be fully complete and we can boot into the Ubuntu desktop and uh, what that means is we'll have a fully working Linux operating system and you can use this for whatever you want I mean um, you can use this just for tinkering around with Linux commands or you can use it as a you know full-blown operating system and do web browsing and go on YouTube with it but uh, you know that's for you to decide you can do what you want with it and uh, this is just restarting now so yeah and it's now restarting okay so as you can see we've now successfully booted into the Ubuntu desktop environment and uh, it's pretty much set up now there's just one thing that we need to do as you can see it isn't full screen and this is just one of the small issues you may encounter so to fix this we need to do something called installing guest editions now to do this all you have to do is press devices install guest editions Now hopefully if we give this just a minute, this will be detected within Ubuntu. Now we can just press run. Now it's just been detected. Just enter the password that we created earlier. And now this is just going to install guest editions and this will hopefully sort out any problems we have okay so now we've finished installing guest edition so we can just go ahead and press enter this will close this window now uh, if you read that it just said that we have to restart the system so we'll go up here press this button in the top right press shut down and now we can press restart And now if we're lucky, this will be uh, absolutely ready just for us to start using. Right, brilliant. So now as you can see, we're fully booted into Ubuntu. We have a widescreen desktop. And now we can start doing whatever we want. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. As you can see, we have uh, Ubuntu set up and working. We can uh, open any of our uh, common applications to the side here. We can view all of them by... Uh, pressing this button up here and sorry if this is a bit slow it's because I'm recording at the same time but we can search for our applications and uh, I hope that you enjoy using Ubuntu if you'd like I can create a video on uh, using Linux and some tips and tricks but for now I hope you enjoyed please watch my other videos and like this I'll really appreciate it but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time